Good evening. Get out of my shot. Yeah, Get out of my shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my shot. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Lake Orion. <laughs> Welcome to the... Welcome. <laughs> All right, get that camera on me, please. <laughs> Good evening, Lake Orion. Welcome to the welcome to Between Tear Me, Lady and Gentlemen. I'm your host, and I am. And I rains in a fight storm. Yes, indeed. Uh, yes, indeed, Lake Orion. Welcome to Between Two Minutes. Sammy and Ian, how are you two doing? Oh, Can you guys God. stop? Uh, Can you guys stop? We're on air. Thank we are? you. Good. Yeah. Oh. Good evening, Lake Orion. Hope you're all doing well. I already well. did the intro. Oh, you already did it? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. How are you two doing? Other than I'm okay. fighting each other. I'm okay. A little sore. Yeah. Don't get in my Okay, shot. we both know that I'm better. Let's talk about the first topic of the of this. The Tigers. We've got the Detroit Tigers. They won another series. They beat the Chicago White Sox. Now they got a they got a they got a two big series at home with the Bronx Bombers, the Evil Empire, the New York Yankees, and the Cleveland Indians. Boo. So what are you guys thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. What's the panic meter at now that they're the best team in baseball? Uh, level 10. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here's okay. why. One, Alfredo Simone is going to have a, once he starts getting a curse, he's going to get cursed. Another reason is this offense could struggle, go on a go on a slump, and the bullpen. You know, the Tigers, thankfully, have not been able to use that bullpen lately, except for one game, of course. You were at the game where Annabelle Sanchez gave up nine runs against the Chicago White Sox. That was rough. And you look at that team, as long as they don't use their bullpen, I think this team's going to be fine. And Joaquin, and of course, you hear in the news about Did you Joe. Say, I think the team's going to be fine. And you hear about <laughs> Joe Nathan? No. He could come back. He's retiring? Oh. He could come back for you. And that'd be the closer. No. Yeah. That's insanity. How would that be insanity? Because. And wow, also, the Kansas City Royals keep on winning, too. What place are they in? They're second place, but they're going to catch the Tigers. Don't worry. Coffin Stadium and uh, in two weeks. Next week, it's going to be a huge series. I think the Kansas City Royals They come to our three. place, too, soon, too, don't they? Yes. May 8th, 9th, 10th, something like that. And Greg Holland will be back for that game, for that series. Hmm. He might not be back for the series at Coffin, but he'll be back for the series at Detroit. And you know those Royals are going to be jacked up. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. If you look at how the Royals are... You know, I said this before. The Royals are going to be geeked up. They're going to be excited because it's the standard bearer of the Central Division. The Royals feel like they are, but the Tigers still are the, are the standard bearer of the Central Division. They're the defending now, American League champions. But the Tigers are the AL Central champions. The Royals couldn't beat the Tigers. Yeah, That's but the their, Tigers uh, couldn't beat the Orioles last year. True. And the Royals beat the Orioles. True. Mm -hmm. So let's, forget, let's, let's look at it from this perspective. Kansas City, they're playing much better than people think. You know, Kendrick Morales coming in there. Did Oakland beat Kansas City two of the three? Kendrick Morales coming in I'm there is sure. going to help. It's going to help that Royals team. Even though you got, you got Kane, you got Kane, mm -hmm. you got Mustakis. I think Alex Rios has done a magnificent mm -hmm. job over there. He's Kansas out. City beat Oakland. You got Eric Hosmer, who's good, and you got Mook. You know, the, the surprising me is the pitching. You know what I mean? I think this Ventura guy's been very, very good, very good starter. I mean, eventually replacing big game James Shields in Kansas City. So I think Kansas City is going to be there in the long haul, and I think they will push the Tigers in the AL Central. In the end, but, and I think they could overtake them because, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what you know for your Simon. You know, besides that, you know, besides that, Kansas City, and we don't know the health of Justin Verlander, so – I think Kansas City right now is in a better position to overtake the Tigers in the Central right now. Where do we stand with Shane Green? A great start yesterday again. 
thoughts on that? Can he sustain <laughs> not a zero ERA, but can he sustain seven inning starts? You know, I two think three he's runs. Proving that he's can be, he's proving he can be a um, a, a possible three or four in the bullpen or in the starting as a starter. I think he's proving that, and I think that um, maybe he can. But I mean, it could be one of those years like what Porcello had last year. Yeah, where he had a really good year, and then so I mean, we'll see. You know, Shane Green in Arizona, of course. Remember him last year in New York. The reason, no, he was in Arizona first before going to New York. Shane Green? Yeah, he was no, in Arizona. No, 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 no. Yeah, he was in no, Arizona. No, no, he no, was, yes. No, no, no. But when he was in New York, you know, he learned how to handle the media, how to handle the pressure. Um, he did very well last year for for um. For the Yankees, you know, and that's why the Tigers got him because they knew what they were going to get in. You know, a very similar pitcher, Porcello. Um, you know, I think he's a better pitcher than Porcello. You know, even though he doesn't have the years that Porcello has, but what do you like more about him? I like I like his slider a lot more than Porcello's because you know, yeah, he gets ground out ground ball outs, but I just think. I just think people are starting to hit Porcello a little bit more these days now than um, Shane Green. If he can mix up his pitches a little bit more. Will Porcello pitch this series? If he can mix his pitches a little bit more, For who? I think the Tigers, the Tigers will be in He's all right in shape. Oh, my bad. Mm -hmm. Well, how about that improved defense? That really helps things out too, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, the way Cespedes coming over helps. What do you think about Cespedes? I like him. This ended up being a good trade, didn't it? Pretty for now. So far, pretty good. And it makes think, makes that lineup a little more threatening. Do you think the White Sox have a chance to get back into the Central? I'm just asking a question. You can answer this question. A real question? A real question. No. <laughs> yes. Why? Yes. Because the arrival of the next future. It's going to be called up. You'd heard, you've heard of this guy. Of course, it's Rondon, I believe. He is a very good reliever. He's going to be the, eventually, he's going to be the next closer of the White Sox. He's going to be a dominant presence for the Chicago White Sox. And you also got David Robertson. You know, wouldn't surprise me David Robertson goes the eighth inning. And, and this Rondo, and this Rondo guy closes out games for the Chicago White Sox. He is that good. His stuff is very, very good. Very filthy. I think it's going to be. I think he's going to surprise some people this year. There is a reason why people are high on this guy, on this young prospect. Do you think it's going to be the Tigers in the? Um, do you think so? Another question I'll ask Ian actually is: Sure. Does the Indians? Does the Cleveland Indians have a chance to to catch the the Tigers? Did we see how the Cleveland Indians looked? Yeah. Not very good. Not very good. Do you think they have a chance to catch the Tigers? No. With that lineup, that starting rotation, that no. bullpen, aged? No. no. I think when you look at it here at Cleveland, that bullpen is just bad. It is terrible. That bullpen is, I think that bullpen's worse than the Tigers. I really do. Any final thoughts? Well, I'm just excited to... Uh, I'm just excited to see what the Tigers can do when they start facing the Royals a couple times in the next few weeks. Um, they're going to play the division a lot this first Which month. Which is always and a, half. a good thing. For us right now, it's good because we're hot. And it's good to beat because you've got to play these teams anyways. And you've got to win these games. So if you can catch the Tigers when they're hot, that's good for us. Yeah, but, you know, wait till. May, June, July come out. You know what I mean with this Tiger team. We'll see what team they're made of, really made of. I think right now the panic meter, if you're a Tiger fan right now, it's a ten. I think they'll pay. I think they'll for be, each win they have. No, because once they get into a losing streak, the AL Central is going to be Kansas City's, and you're going to be Royal Blue, be Royal. Uh. Don't we'll burp be at right me. back with Don't burp at me. Yeah, no, I Don't burp at me. I'll burp at you. Don't burp I'll at me. I'll burp at you. Know I'll burp.
spring has sprung and Mother's Day is just around the corner and that means it's time for the Lake Orion DDA's 15th Annual Flower Fair sponsored by Genesis Credit Union and Golling Buick GMC. Dozens of vendors will set up shop at Flint and Broadway in the village to meet your gardening and landscaping needs. Enjoy live entertainment, food and refreshments including mouth-watering samples from Lockhart's Barbecue. Things kick off on Friday, May 8th at 11 a.m. Hours are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday, May 9th. For more information, call 248-693-9742 or visit downtownlakeorion.org. Make the Lake Orion Flower Fair part of your Mother's Day tradition and pick up something nice for mom. Program, ladies and gentlemen. We want to talk about Mike Illich's other team, or we want to save that. We could gladly talk about Mike Illich's other team. I think they're going to be done. They're going to lose four straight. They've already lost one. It's a little concerning with how they played. They have not looked good, have they, Anthony? No, they've not looked good at all. It's surprising that they scored four. They had 14 shots on goal in oh. one game one. <laughs> one. I can't believe the Wings are being manhandled by by the Tampa Bay Lightning of all teams. Tampa Bay is showing good. their physicality. Yeah, they're physical. And they're showing their speed. And they are showing they have a game plan for the Red Wings, and that is get the Red Wings off their game. That's hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Those, well, those last two lines are just bruising. And they're killing Dotsuk. Mm-hmm. Killing Zetterberg. <sighs> He's not been a non-factor. Nope. He's been a non-factor. Nope. There you are. Nope. So, Ant, what are, you, what are you reading from this? Your prediction is not looking good right now. What I'm reading from this is the wings are not physical. The wings are just not physical. They don't, they're, in game two, they actually finally learned how to do something right. Fight! And fight and fight and fight. Just like the old Red Wing days. Just like, I want to see the Red Wings that actually stood up to my avalanche. I want to see the Red Wings, that, the same Red Wings that stood up to the Stars. Well, I'm not seeing it. And uh, you know who's to blame for it? Mike Babcock. Wow. Babcock is not a fighter. Babcock prefers finesse. No good. Finesse. He prefers the just the the ugly, you know, the pretty boy style Sidney Crosby-like hockey. Babcock didn't put the team together. Kenny Holland did. But still, the Red Wings need to go back to the old Red Wings. The Red Wings that idiotic fans like yourself love. Did you just call me idiotic? Of course I did. But my point is this. Is that, my point is this. The Wings need to start going back to the old, physical, hard-hitting, smash-mouth style hockey that fans, pretend, that Red Wing fans like to preach. Where are the Red Wings that, because they stand, stood up to my avalanche? Where are the Red Wings that stood up to their old stars? The way the Red Wings are playing against the Tampa Bay Lightning of all teams, they have no chance. This shit is inexcusable that they are that they are letting the East be what it is right now. It's their fault. Do they have a defense, Detroit? No. No. One of their best defenders, their biggest player, is terrible. Yep. Erickson has been yep. Yep. terrible. Yep. Do they have a defense? No. This is why Detroit is not very good. When you look at the team, when you have a defenseman, when you don't have a defenseman, you ain't gonna win games. And then when you look at a They've game, not been the same since Lidstrom left. They have not been the same since Nicholas Lidstrom left. They have you not agree? been the same since um Fair. I think Mike Fair. Babcock I don't think he's a good coach, you know what I mean personally. I just don't think that he's that good. You don't think he's a good he coach? He wasn't that good in Anaheim, he's not that good. He won a cup! He's not that good of he a coach. He won a cup because he bought talent. Yes, he did. There was a salary he cap. He bought talent from Sweden. There was a salary cap. He bought talent from Sweden. Yeah, he bought talent, yeah. 
And they did get screwed in 09. I'll give you that one. They did get screwed in 09. They didn't get screwed. They lost. By the Penguins? They lost. They just lost. And then you look Are at... you kissing up Sidney Crosby? Heavens, no. That's what you're doing. If Heavens, you're saying that they no. lost, then you're they kissing up They lost in seven games. They were up 2-0. They should have won the series. They lost. You're kissing up Sidney Crosby. They just Here lost. Here is why I think Detroit is going down to Tampa Bay tomorrow night. And it's one, it's because Tampa Bay's physical. Yes. Two, you got the emergence. You got the emergence of Tampa's star players are showing up. Detroit's are not. Correct. And then you got the defense. Tampa Bay's what got defense? a strong defense. Detroit's got no defense, which is virtually is Peter Morazic is being left on an island. And then you look at Tampa Bay. Brett, is it Ben Bishop or is yeah. it? Yeah. He's done well for that for the Lightning. Um, and they're likely going to be looking at possibly playing the Montreal League Canadiens in the um Hey, you get a little ahead of yourself. Yeah, I think they're I think Detroit's done. You don't like the Senators have a comeback? No, Senators ain't come back against these Canadians. They've been miracle team all year. They ain't coming back against the Canadians. He's right right now that Ottawa has no chance against Montreal. Nope. I think the if the if this this series is two and two. I think if this series is two two. Then you know then the series is all as uh, as open because the Wings know they can win in Tampa. All the Wings got to do is you know, if the series is tied at two. It's the best three. That favors Tampa Bay, though. Can they tie like Tampa the series Bay's at two? At, Tampa Bay might be at home, but the Wings have proven they can win at Tampa. It's 1-1 one, one right now. Series tied. Can they, can they tie it at two? Can they tie it at three? Is Detroit? There, are they going to win another game? Detroit? Yeah. No, they will not win another game. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say they will win another game. The Wings won't lose in front of those idiotic, pocky, bastard fans. Sorry for my language. But they won't win for the idiotic fans. They won't lose for these idiotic fans. <laughs> Thank you. There's those idiots. Booing yeah, you. They're, they're, they're booing, they're booing, they're booing they're the booing you. They're, they're booing, booing you. The wings ever. They're not booing me. They're booing you. I know you. why. If they, they're not going to boo me because one thing about it is they're, they, they're going to get on their knees and they're going to bow down to me just like those fans need to. Every Red Wing fan, most part, needs to bow down to me. I and need to, and will. Wait, Never. Yeah, you will. I will flush my you own head down the toilet before you I bow to you. That's the wings going in the toilet. No. That's wings in the toilet. No. Oh, that's yeah, your yeah. avalanche season. Because <laughs> no, it's it gone. Not. It's flushed in the toilet. Yeah. Right. I think there's two games that are going seven games, and they're in the Western Conference. Anaheim, Winnipeg's going seven. Minnesota, St. Louis Anaheim, is going Winnipeg seven. Anaheim, Winnipeg going seven? No. Yes, it is. Um, and for Detroit against Tampa Bay. Detroit's got no chance because of what I just said. At the, the end of the day, beat Tampa Bay in the regular season last year. At the end of the day, end of the day, I think this is going to be the time for Steve Eisman, as a GM, to get his first win, series win, over his former mates. That's the ultimate diss to the Detroit Red Wings. I think Tampa Bay eliminates Detroit in five games because of what Tampa Bay's got. They're very, they're talented. You know, Tampa Bay's very talented. And I think the key to this game is can Detroit handle the pressure of Tampa Bay? And right now they haven't done it. They just have not done it. They got to outshot people and win games. Worse they have not done it. Tampa's clearly a better team. They're clearly a better team. They're clearly a better team. They're clearly a better team. It's going to take Morazic to steal something. It's going to take. How can you win a game? At home, you know what I mean. No, yeah, they're gonna have to All steal they need it. Win one. If they win two at Detroit, oh, if they win know, two at Detroit. It's over. Then I'm sorry, it's over. If Tampa the, wins two in Detroit, it's over. If Tampa wins two in Detroit, right? Sure, mm -hmm. sure. That would be rough. You got a score prediction for tomorrow? Tampa Bay six, Detroit one. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ant. I'm going to say game three, Tampa wins it two to one. Game four, Wings win six to three. Game four, I think Tampa wins seven to one. 13 to two. It's going to be the total.
campus favor. Yep. What are you saying, Mr. Weatherspoon? I think the Wings are going to lose both games. Unfortunately. Where are those fans now? Hey, I'm trying to be real about it. This looks a lot like the Boston series last year. Yes, it does. Very similar. Very. Except Boston doesn't have the defense. No, except T Bo Tampa don't have the defense that Boston had. Hmm. Boston's out of the playoffs, though, now. Yes, that's a good thing. We can get a cheers for that one. Uh, anything else you want to touch on with the NHL playoffs before we move? It wouldn't surprise me, Anaheim, Winnipeg goes 7. St. Louis, Minnesota goes 7. Both teams are evenly matched there in the Western Conference, I think. And then you got them. Um, also, you know, when I look at Chicago and Nashville, I think Chicago's a better team than Nashville. Interesting. Um, so, and then you look at the East, Montreal's going to win that series handily. Mm. Um, the Islanders and the um, Capitals. Capitals. That, that's a game that could go, a series that goes seven games. If um, that's a big game tomorrow for Washington, if they don't win over the Islanders. New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins. New York's vulnerable against the Penguins. I think Pittsburgh, if they play their best hockey, I think they're going to eliminate the Rangers. You know, so I would think, I think I see Pittsburgh upsetting New York, but I see the Long Island Islanders <clears throat> moving on. Mm. I think, um, you know, there's a reason why the Stars and the Avalanche did not make the playoffs. Was yeah, because too. of how balanced the Western Conference is. Mm-hmm. Um, the Western Conference is probably one of the most balanced leagues in the last two, three years. They've always been the, one of the more balanced leagues. Eastern Conference. So, I mean, what surprised me in the West, all those series go seven games. In the East, I look at, okay, I, I look at the East, I would say, um, I, I, think the, I think the Wings will upset Tampa Bay. I think the Canadians will advance. Um, I think, you know, the... I mean, Capitals and the Capitals and Isles will be a pretty good series because the Islanders are playing for their right to stay in Long Island, and also the um, Penguins and Rangers. I'm sorry, but I, I cannot see Pittsburgh as a legitimate threat. Rangers move on. There you have it. We're gonna move on. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello Lake Orion, it's Anthony Taramina, co-host of Between Taraminas. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well, and also plenty of surprises. Catch us on History Now here on ONTV. Hello Lake Orion and Oakland County. This is Sammy Termina here talking a new show here called OA Now. We're going to talk about sports from football to basketball to volleyball to track and field to soccer, cross country, etc. here on OA Now on ON TV. Welcome back to Between Terminas here on ON TV. Mm -hmm. First meet start up next week. Track season is in full bloom. Yes. As they say, as the meets are getting ready. Mm -hmm. You excited? You got a good squad this year? Uh, I've got a talent. We got, we're going to be all right. Um, got 15 boys, 10 girls. Um, sort of like a high school team, very similar. Um, we should be solid. We should be solid. Um, like I said, our track team as a whole, we're pretty solid. You know, we I mean like we're pretty balanced. Um, girls, a little bit of a question, but guys should be solid. Ian, you go first. I go first with what? You talk next, please. Well, our team's going to dominate like it does every year. Okay, you're up. Are you saying you're going to dominate like you do every year? That's exactly what I'm saying. Right. Well, other than the fact that, um, you know, I'm – I'm excited for this season. I think that um, I think that we have a chance to be good. Um, I think it'll depend on what on what events the kids choose to do, what events the the coaches allow the kids to do. I think that you know, for a team to be successful, a lot of things got to go right. 
Um, you have to have very good um, relays, good good running events, good distance events, but also good field events. Um, I think that you know, I'm in the terms of how our team looks. Um, I think it'll be very interesting to see. Um, I don't want to say too much because of the Pontiac, Oxford, Clarkston, and Sashabaugh programs will probably be watching this the show and looking at and looking at how the, how how each one of our teams will do. But I would say that I would say that it's going to be a pretty good year. And regardless of how we all fare, we got talent on each team. We do. That will be moving on to the high school. And feed there's into that why, great track program. There's a there. reason why Lake Orion is the standard bearer of track. It's and one it's of them. Because it's one of the biggest one of the biggest reasons is for the success of the middle school programs. Um, when you look at it, you know the high school program. I would say is um, is always been one of the more consistent programs. It's been one of the most consistent, and a lot of that you have to credit to the middle school programs. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I do got one call out to mention. Do you have a call out today? Yes, I do. Okay, now's this the guy, time. This guy refu shakes Anthony's hand. This guy shakes Ian's hand. He doesn't shake mine. My call out is Joe Velez. Joe Velez. Why? Here it is. You had a chance to come in and shake my hand. You had a chance to sh you shook Anthony's hand. You shook Ian's hand, but you didn't shake my hand. Why? You it looks like you hate me. You hate me. I don't know why. What have I done to you? It's not my fault that I'm comp compared to a llama. I'm going to compare you to a llama. <laughs> you know, Joe was a llama. That would be absolutely perfect. That would be a perfect combination. You know? Perfect combination. Joe Velez and a llama. Yes. I'm deeply confused. <laughs> why do you say that? Yeah, yeah why? look at Joe Velez. Yeah, Look at Joe looks like a normal, healthy American male. Oh, Joe Velez needs help. He needs he needs help change his teens. He needs help change his lifestyle. He needs help. Period. Who is this guy? Who is he? Who are you? That guy needs help. Joseph Velez, shake my hand next time. You shake your hand, he is here. Don't shake mine. I'm disappointed. Do you think? You're any part of the reason why he's no longer employed here? Nope. You sure about that? Nope. <laughs> nope. I wonder once I in a while. I wonder. Mm. Mm. And he probably got that other job offer and said, see ya. Nope. No more Sammy. Nope. Yep. No wonder why I had Joe Johnson do my show for history now. Mm. Okay. You have caught it. <laughs> Thank you. Joe Thank Johnson you. must be directing today, huh? That guy's a genius. He rocks. That guy's a genius. He rocks. People should look up to Joe. He's a great influence. People do look up to Joe. I know. I'm glad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People do. You, you should. You got a call? Oh, I look up to Joe. Nah. No call, no call out today? Week. Nah. Feeling too nice? I'm not ready to make nice. You're not ready to make nice? Nah. Good luck this week, you two. All right. Next time we'll be on the air is Tuesday. Yeah. Correct? Now you guys shake hands. No. We Shake hands. Each other. Shake hands. <laughs> I'm going to separate you two. All right. Is that it? See you next week. Yeah. Talk Lions schedule. Talk yeah. track. Talk Tigers. Mm -hmm. See where yeah. the wings are at. If they're on the golf course, they're still skating be around. I uh, hope you all have a nice week. We'll see you next time on Between Terminas. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.